Welcome back to Midday. We have Mayor Peter Millibar joining us on this Friday. Welcome, Peter. We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's, it's obviously the summer. So exactly. Yeah, thanks. It's always good to be here. Yeah. yeah. And happy anniversary. Thank you very yeah. much. And yeah. it's Peter and his lovely wife's anniversary this weekend, too. So yeah. we're all celebrating marriage this long weekend. Yeah. Um, Peter, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about a couple of city issues in a few minutes, but I, I think the most pressing topic uh, really is what, what happened yesterday. <laughs> Terry Lake announcing that he'll not run for a third term for the BC Liberals. Um, yeah. And we haven't had a chance to talk to you for TV on this, so maybe I can ask you, what was, what's your reaction to that? Were you surprised? Did that come as a surprise to you? Yeah, I was a little bit surprised. I, th I started to think that with Terry taking as, as long as he was, uh, that he was uh, seriously contemplating uh, running again. I've worked with him and, and consider him a pretty good friend since 2002. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I know he always takes everything on with a full challenge and, and uh, full energy. So I figured he was uh, re regenerating and ready to go uh, full out again. So, um, you know, it, it's unfortunate to see him go. He's he's definitely a hard worker. He's always mm -hmm. very well researched, uh, very committed to the, the whole riding and, and the city. And, and uh, he's accomplished a lot in his career. Um, has he given you any indication? Have you talked to him about his uh, his his future for the next little while? Has he decided at all what he's going to do? Well, he hasn't quite told us, but I thought yeah. maybe he would have told you. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> he hasn't shared any definitive yeah. plans with me, and even if he had, frankly, that's that's yeah. Terry's uh, news to share if and when he, he chooses to. So, uh, um, you know, as I say, I consider him a friend as well, and, and mm -hmm. certainly, uh, you know, we, we managed to have a social bowl yesterday afternoon and, and okay. uh, chat about things, but, uh, you know, he's he's uh, somebody that I have no doubt, he, as he said, he's, he's still the, the health minister, he's not the former, and, and mm -hmm. I expect that he would uh, still tackle that job with full energy and mm -hmm. up until uh, he's not, and so uh, he's still got a very big portfolio and job to do. Well, we have to ask you, I guess, uh, Peter, <laughs> with Terry not running, it, does this open a door for you, do you think? Will, will you consider at all running for this next election? Well, obviously, with him not running, it opens a door for, for the whole riding in terms of there's an empty seat there and, and no incumbent in the election. Um, you know, I, I hadn't given a, a ton of thought um, because I didn't know for sure what he was doing or not. Um, you know, I, I've said yesterday that I'll... I'll take it under advisement now with my family and friends over the weekend here and and uh, you know I would expect to have an answer in short order mm -hmm. uh, one way or the other there's still a lot I want to accomplish as mayor there's a lot of exciting projects on the table and and uh, I want to keep working on those as well so I have to balance that out with family life uh, you know being an elected official is not a small feat Absolutely. Um, in terms of the toll it can take on your time personally but also you know the online commentary both good and bad you get and, and your family has to be prepared for that and impacts them probably more than than uh, myself and and so you have to weigh all that out but it's something I'll give serious consideration to and and uh, you know I think in fairness to everyone in the public it's it's good for the city itself to know uh, clearly what is or isn't happening with the mayor's chair in terms of uh, potential and and so uh, you know I would expect a, an answer sooner rather than later uh, just one day after Terry's announcement, and I'm sure you've heard already, Stephen Bahalo has mm -hmm. also uh, announced his intentions to seek the party's nomination. Uh, he just did that this morning. So uh, your thoughts on that, on, on having him in the running? Well, no great surprise, really. Uh, Stephen's, uh, you know, been a, a pretty ardent liberal uh, for all of his adult life, and, and uh, even as a youth, I think he's been fairly heavily involved politically. So um, not a big surprise there that he would uh, put his name forward and, and as I say, he, um, you know, he may not be the only one, uh, mm -hmm. and we'll have to see what unfolds uh, in the North Thompson riding. Yeah. Um, Peter, we can talk a little bit, too, about uh, maybe now switching gears slightly just to, to, to the city of Kamloops and uh, the fact that it is September now, and council meetings will start back up shortly. Yeah. Um, lots of stuff for you guys to, to consider this time around, but two main things that really come to mind for us here uh, are the, the vacant properties, I guess you can call them now, with Stuart Wood and the Daily News. Yeah. Um, are those going to be two major things that, that you guys will tackle this time around? Uh, yeah, we're, we're still, I'm still working with Minister Stone on Stuart Wood to, to figure out, uh, you know, what potential uses um, would work within the reverter clause that we have. 
um, and council's aware of that and, and that's what I've been tasked to do and, and so I'm following through on that as well as um, uh, you know with the, the daily news property we have the one proponent that council's directed staff to, to work with to see if there's not something there that could uh, uh, work out it's a very complicated deal and, and then from there um, you know whether it goes forward or not then we have those other eight uh, groups to, to uh, inform and either say thanks for your, your input but uh, we're moving in a different direction or you know what we're going to re reevaluate your proposals as well so there's a lot going on a lot of exciting stuff in the city to, to work on and, and uh, you know west side pools under construction right now uh, they're already ripping the roof off so that's good to see and, and uh, you know there is a lot to, to have uh, take place over the next few months. Do you have any specific ideas of what you would like to see uh, in either Daily News Building or Stuart Wood? Well, again, there's just so many moving parts, and, and uh, you know, we, we've tried very hard with the Stuart Wood situation to not uh, engage, uh, you know, community groups or things like right. that too early because we don't want to have people invest a lot of time and money and energy and, and volunteer time and then find out it's not a compatible use for the building. So, um, in terms of what we could uh, use the building for, so uh, we need to figure that out. It's it's something we want to make sure it's done right. It's going to be a 50, 60 year building. It's going to be very expensive building to, to retrofit to whatever use goes in there so we want to make sure we get it right we want to take our time and and, uh, and make sure it's a huge uh, public asset to the community at large uh, for a long time it's such an old building and such a sort of a, a almost like a landmark you know yeah everybody knows that exactly building and yeah so something uh, you know will come of it I guess something yeah, yeah it's something we don't want to see it just boarded up no. we want to make sure that it's got vibrant use it can actually add to the downtown quality of life and and be a focal point for years to come so as I say you, you really want to make sure it's done right but it's a big building it's going to be a very expensive building to to get back into full use yeah, for whatever so we do uh, that's part yeah. of the reason the school district had to shut it and right. and so uh, we have to face that reality as well so I'd prefer that we we do it right and take our time as opposed to just rushing in for the sake of uh, getting it done we are maintaining the the grounds now and things like that so you know there'll still be the full public access to it and and the playground and things like that in the meantime move City Hall there <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. That would be a, a very scary proposition. And, and frankly, the footprint of it, uh, although it seems big for, yeah, for something like office not. space and no. things like that, not so And the accessibility, so much. Exactly. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for being here. Okay, Appreciate your you. time. Peter Millibar talking with us today on a number of different topics. We'll be right back after a break on Midday. Stay with us.